it to me like you're like that's what you look like in real life right like and like <laughs> exactly. the idea of like the idea of what we do is like I don't get to like meet people with like a filter on my face right like and no. and we don't get to and like and that's our job is just to get in front of people and like this is what I look like and this is how I sound um and I and I think the whole idea is some people may not like may not like me or they may not li like they may not resonate with the videos that we do um, or that I do, but like, but that's okay, right? Because like, you are just looking for your people out there, right? So, yeah. and I want to work with people that want to work with me. And so it's like attraction marketing in that way, right? Building a successful real estate career requires you to adapt, pivot, and constantly master new skills. We're Katie and Daniel Steinfeld. We've built our own innovative brokerage. And in this podcast, we've assembled actionable tips and strategies that you can implement to take your business to its maximum potential. It's time to level up. Level up. We are very happy this week to, <laughs> at long last, after 11 minutes of waiting, <laughs> to be joined by Shalini, our favorite video person in the world, yeah. ever. <laughs> and uh, we are here today. Thank you so much for coming. You are a realtor extraordinaire. You are a videographer extraordinaire. Creativity oozing out of every pore. <laughs> and we are going to talk today about all the cool stuff that you do, the strategies you use, the successes you've had, and some of the challenges people can expect when doing video mm -hmm. in real estate yeah, and everything in between. That's right. So thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. I'm very, yeah. very excited to be here. Well, we couldn't think of anybody better. I we, like we've been following you forever, but just in terms of what you've been doing with video, what you've accomplished, like through the awards you've been given, it's it's so exciting to just kind of see you progress through this. So, um, yeah. So, how like why don't we start with like how you started with video? Like, what made you want to get into it? How did it kind of all all play out? Sure. sure. I um. You hear an echo or is it me? No, right? Okay, sorry, I heard a bit of an echo. Um, so yeah. I uh, started in, um, I would think I was started like mostly doing it in 2018. So I did a, uh, a course. It was, um, I had, like everyone like knows like you should be doing video, I guess, right? Like that's like you hear it like everywhere, like do more video. Um, so I took a course with uh, Michael Thorne and Jesse Peters. It was like a video boot camp. Um, and it was in June. And it was so good that um, uh, it was, you know, they sort of introduced you to editing and, and different things. And like, they're, they're both realtors. Um, but they it was just like an incredible course. So they left you with a challenge, like after we were done the course to do um, 30 videos in 30 days. And so I, I, I did it. So like there was a lot of people in the course, not everybody like actually left and like implemented. And like, that's one of the things I find, like sometimes we learn a lot of things, but don't like move forward with them. Um, mm -hmm. So I did it. So it was third, I did, I picked July to do it. So I had to do 31 videos, um, but I just took everything that I had learned like really from that course. And I shot everything um, like initially it was like on my iPhone. I picked, um, I'm in Milton, uh, just outside of Toronto. So I picked like my 31 favorite places in Milton to, um, to video. I didn't really have a script or anything. I just sort of planned out, uh, you know, what locations I was going to go to. I did pretty much like one a day, which, you know, in retrospect, it probably would have been better to like batch like some of those videos. But I went out every day and I shot a video on a location and then I edited it. Um, at that time, like when I started, I was using um, iMovie and then in the course, they had taught us something called ScreenFlow. Um, so I used ScreenFlow to edit. Um, and yeah, I shot everything on my phone. And so that's sort of how it started. And it really went well. Like it was, you know, I was show showing up consistently, I think is one of the main things like being consistent with it. And like, after you've done 30 videos in 30 days, you're like, it's not easy, but you really feel like, oh, like I could do anything now, right? Like one video a week can't be hard. Like if you can do 30 
like 30 and 30 days. So that's really how it got started. And then I just really fell in love with the medium. And, um, and then you can end up going down like a rabbit hole of doing so many other things and like gear. And um, I've taken like several other courses since then. I love learning things. So, um, and like, and YouTube is great as well, like just for like picking up stuff. So, so that's really how, how I got started in it. That's awesome. And so is that how Check It Out Milton um, came to be? Is that kind of what happened afterwards? Exactly. So I started it with the 30, the 31 and 30 and 30 videos uh, th in 30 days. And then from there, I'm like, I'm going to do a weekly series. Um, and I called it check it out Milton, because I find like just in my own language, I'm always like, check this out and check that out. And I'm like, this is just perfect. So, um, so that's how check it out Milton um, came to be. And then from there, like I've, I've videoed like a lot of places that I love in Milton, um, businesses that I love. Uh, just even like parks, like, uh, you know, if I didn't have anything for a week, I'd like run out to like a park and like just shoot a park in a, in a local area. But when people are looking for, you know, for homes, like, and especially, I mean, it's been really helpful, like even in the world that we're in right now, like, right. Like, cause they want to see them, they want to see the home, but they also want to see the neighborhood and like learn different aspects around the neighborhood. So um, it's been really great. I, for business, I get a lot of calls from people who are looking, you know, for a Milton expert, or they want somebody who really understands different things around the area. Um, so that's been really, it's been really helpful for my business too. Yeah, no, I could imagine. And so when you're first starting out, like, I think one of the things that a lot of people say is that they don't want to get in front of the camera, they're like afraid to put their face there to hear themselves talk, because they hate the sound of their voice and all that kind of stuff. Did you have those insecurities at first? Yeah, for sure. Because I'm, you know, like, I'm 42. <laughs> and, and so you know, like, I didn't want to be like, always on, uh, I don't like how I look or, or, you know, like, or some days, right? Nobody some days, like, you know, you just don't want to do it. Um, but the thing is, like, that's like, I think, and it was somebody had said it to me, like, you're know, like, that's what you look like in real life, right? Like, and like, <laughs> exactly. the idea of like, the idea of what we do is like, I don't get to like, meet people with like a filter on my face, right? Like, and, no. and we don't get to and look, and that's our job is just to get in front of people. And like, this is what I look like. And this is how I sound. Um, and I, and I think the whole idea is, some people may not like may not like me or they may not li like they may not resonate with the videos that we do um, or that I do. But like, but that's OK. Right. Because like you are just looking for your people out there. Right. So yeah. and I want to work with people that want to work with me. And so it's like attraction marketing in that way. Right. So there are people that maybe watch my, my videos. and They'll be like, oh, I never want to work with with her. Like she wouldn't be the one. And then there are people like that I get to work with that they're like, oh, we like, I, you know, that they're, we totally vibe. And it's, uh, it just makes work in general, a lot more pleasant too. So I think if you're nervous about getting in front of video, you just like, somehow like have to like that is you like <laughs> that is who you are and it is like a great way to you know grow your business and to meet people um and it's super fulfilling and it like it it gives me like i love to be creative so i think it just gives you that like out that outlet as well for what we can do with our business for sure so from when you started to now how much or how little of the video that you do is on script and how much of it is off the cuff like did, when you started was a lot of it like this is what i need to say and now it's more just i'm gonna be me or has it always been here's the idea and i'm just gonna throw myself into it from the beginning yeah i think i did that from the beginning and i think it was actually really helpful so i come out with an outline of the things that i want to say so if i'm doing you know if i'm doing a market update video then i've definitely got a little bit more detail but i'm i'm not scripted i don't use a teleprompter i tried at one point because i wanted to like you know i, I tried to use an app like a like uh it just doesn't look the same and like you yeah. and i watch people's videos and i can yeah. see them like I see their eyes like reading yeah. it, right? And I feel like you're focused on that instead of like looking like right into the camera and like, connecting with somebody because I feel like that's where um, like the magic happens, right? And and not like looking at at yourself, right? Like if I, it's it's just a different experience. Like even if you watch like people's Instagram stories, it's so different when they're like looking at you and talking to you than mm -hmm. than the people that are looking at themselves. It just doesn't have that same connection. So I think 
remembering to look into the camera lens is um, is really is really important. And I we you, you know I think in general what you want to say, and that's also the beautiful power of learning how to edit. Um, because mm -hmm. like I don't do a lot of live uh, a lot of live video like this. I've I've done like a few of them, um, but most of the things that I've done are edited. So if you screw up, like you can. Mm -hmm cut that out right like or if you didn't like how you said something um you can just you know like clap your hands so you like you know where like the sound break is and then re and redo that piece um so for market update videos and things like that of course live is much easier because it's like one and done and and it's over um, mm -hmm. But yeah, I've never been scripted. I've had an outline of what I want to say. Um, and then you see it like I can go on like a big tangent. So my <laughs> the videos could be maybe too long, the power of editing. Um, yeah, and then yeah. just try and like, and just speak to those points to those talking points. Yeah, that's a great, that's a great suggestion. So somebody asked, um, what is the best length of video? I mean, obviously, it might depend on the type of video that you're doing. But do you do you tend to keep them shorter? Or how what, what's your like rule of thumb? So I think YouTube likes longer like videos, like they like longer form content and even Facebook now, like you get like sort of, I think you get like bonus points if you're over three minutes, right? Like when you're uploading a video, like they'll be like, Hey, this is under three minutes. So I don't know like that I have like a, like a time that I want to stick to, I guess it depends on the platform. Um, like I found lately, like my IGTVs maybe haven't done like as great or performed as well as like a reel, right? Like a reels are doing like really well. So it depends on like what video and like what platform I'm on. Um, but the YouTube things, I'm not like, I have to make this 10 minutes. Like I just do do the video. And um, the, the important part is like the tagging, I think, like and how people can find you because Google is uh, like in YouTube, it's like a search engine. So you want to tag and like have your titles be very, um, um, you know, like searchable, like that's really a key to I think getting people to view your videos. But yeah, I don't f focus too heavily on like, oh, I better add another two minutes onto this, like to make it a certain length. Um, I think you just depend, like as long as you have relevant things to say and like you can kind of keep it, keep it going. Um, that's the important thing. And the good thing, like the other thing to think of is that people that are searching for you know, it doesn't really matter if you get like, you know, you know, 10,000 views or something on a video, like that's not what I'm going for. I want the like, you know, like the four or like the five people that like really care about like Milton, right? And like that want to know about that. Like, I don't care. Like, I'm not into like the vanity metrics of what it is. I'm just trying to reach the people um, that are looking for that information. So that's another thing I think not to get too caught up in in, in those types of things, like how many views you yeah. get and things like that. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. So you talked about different platforms and you're on all of them. Now, mm -hmm. when you, when you put together a larger video, let's say you put together a 15 minute something and maybe you edit it down for YouTube or for Facebook. Do you use that as the base tape that you then might cut down into a reel or cut down into other things as well? Or are reels and shorter form things, um, content that you put together on its own because it maybe it's for a different message or a different delivery of the same thing. So like I could use like I just I couldn't use some content like to repurpose. So like if I just did one, for example, like I have I shot some drone footage just for a coming soon. Now, like I do hire like a professional to come in for all of my like listings and everything. But for coming soon, um, you know, I'll do like a, I'll shoot some of my own like drone footage. I have an underweight drone. I don't have my license yet or anything, but I'm allowed to use this little drone. Um, mm -hmm. So I'll, I can shoot that and then I can take some of that content. I'll put some of it for YouTube and then I'll put some of it for real. So I can use the same content for both. You could take a fit like a longer video and then um, you can use like a reel to sort of like to tease it to like be like, here's like a portion of this to get people to go to the YouTube video or to go to the IGTV. Um, I've done that with market update videos before. So like, well, I'll do something different with the reel. And then just say like, for more in depth content, go to the IGTV video to get more information about the like market stats. But um, yeah, so you can definitely I, I should get better at repurposing because it wouldn't require like so much filming all of the time. Um, yeah. But yeah, but I also it's good to have sort of fresh things as well. 
Yeah, for sure. Um, so somebody asked you, uh, do you do your own filming? And I guess what type of equipment, like what are your like, can't live without equipment or software that you use currently? Yeah, so I do my own, uh, I do my own filming. Um, I don't have like a like a camera man or a camera person. <laughs> no. I use um, my cell phone. Okay. I have a. This is like high tech. High tech. <laughs> high tech. Can't live without it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I use. This is like an essential. Like can't live without. Yeah. This is my Osmo Mobile. This is the three. They have a four now. Um, and then I've got a little, like, I think Osmo actually sells their own little tripod stand for it. This is just like a, like a Manfrotto one, like a separate one. Um, but this, like, you can place down, you can put your camera in here. It does vertical. Um, and like, so you could do for YouTube or for like reels or like Instagram. Um, and it can stand there and you can, uh, DJI um, has like an app that you can use with it that has like a follow feature. So um, like this can actually follow your face. Like if you wanted to, like if you set it up to like track your face. Um, okay. So that is essential. Um, sometimes this is a little essential piece. If you're just like starting out, it just holds your phone onto a regular tripod. I think it's like, I don't know, $15 or something. But like this is really, really awesome if you're just like out and about. Um, the other thing, the other camera that I have, so once I started getting like, I really wanted that like bulk, you know, like YouTuber bokeh blur, like in the back, like it's kind of like blurred out in the background. So then I started to slowly upgrade. So this is like a Canon M50 uh, with a Sigma lens. So like, but this was like, there's like different levels, right? Like if you're just starting out, and like, it's just because I got really interested in it. And so now I'm like, oh, I've got like a, a mic and you know, like, oh, if you like mics are important too. So this is like an on the go mic. It's a Rode wireless go. Um, mm -hmm. And this is like, these are super awesome. You can use them with your cell phone um, and you can use them with, uh, well, like with a camera as well. But I think I just got, I got really into it. So then I started to upgrade pieces. So if depends on what I'm doing, if I know like if I'm on the fly, this is all you need, right? Like yeah. you, this has great audio. Um, it has like a, a great video, like the, the, the footage is really good and it's super easy. This requires mm -hmm. me to think a little bit more and like have something planned out, right? Mm -hmm. um, so, but they, but I love like the look on it. So if I'm doing something at home, like a, like a market update video or, or just like a video about, whatever it is like something that I don't need to be on the go for I'll use um I'll use my Canon just to get like that really like nice looking like YouTuber like image quality yeah that's cool very cool nice and so are you editing the phone stuff in the phone or is everything being uploaded to your computer and then you're using software there to to put it together yeah, I, I don't I use so if I'm going to do like a, a reel or like something for Instagram, I, I can do that in my phone. And, and I use InShot. That's the app that I use for editing. You can add um, text on there. You can add transitions like crossfades. Um, like you can do different things in there. You can download like, like, like the song that you wanted, say like out of like Instagram reel, and then um, you can upload it into um, InShot so that you can like do the timing of the transitions. Like if you wanted things to like match up so that they look, they look really nice. Um, and then yeah. upload it again into Instagram without the sound um, and then pick the sound from Instagram because they like you to do that. Um, right. But so I use InShot for, for quick things like that I'm going to do on my phone, but I use, now I use Final Cut Pro um, on my, on my Mac. I have a, I just like got a Mac mini like a little while ago. So it's, it's very speedy. Um, so I like editing on that. Um, but yeah, like either one, I'm probably mostly on Final Cut. Okay. I have well, an editor true. as well. So like um, for some of my, so that was like a newer thing that I started with last year um, because it takes up a lot of time <laughs> yeah. to do them. So I had done everything by myself for the longest time. And then uh, last year I did a, I think the first one I used her on was I did a lavender video, like in a lavender field in, in Milton, just telling people about this lavender field. And then um, I found her, she's uh I found her and so she edited the video for me and 
And I like, we went back a couple of times, but it's good for you to like know how to edit because then you know the things to ask for when you're sending them to an editor. So I think it's like important to have like a little bit of an idea of like how to do different things so that you can communicate, you know, what you want. Um, like with the editor. And so now she's really awesome. I haven't sent her anything in a while. I've just been doing things myself, but, um, but yeah, but like, it's good to have a, have a backup for when you get really busy. Yeah, that makes sense. That's, that's a great, great tip. Um, so I'm just going back to the Facebook group. Cause I know some people had asked some questions before. Um, yeah. So Armando wanted to know if you were to start from zero, uh, what would be your step-by-step -step plan? YouTube channel, storytelling, video calendar. So I guess, rewind and <laughs> start from scratch and yeah D definitely like I would start with YouTube like first like it is like like some of my videos that I've posted on there like I did one like the sort of like middle of the year I guess like in the fall last year about um so I use keywords everywhere which is like a Google Chrome like th th um what is that like whatever like a thing that you can add on to chrome right a, yeah. yeah thank you that couldn't think yeah. of the word so there was a lot of people moving out of toronto to the suburbs so i googled like i used keywords everywhere to see like what were people searching like about when they were moving out of toronto so i have a video um about moving out of toronto to milton um and i'm like working with buyers right now like from that video i had like another buyer consult earlier this week so like i did that in october um, like, and I still have like residual like business that comes in from people that have found that video. And like every week when I look at my metrics, like of what people are looking at, um, like that's still one of like my top videos. And that's just from getting your keywords right. So I think YouTube, I would definitely start with. And then like, if you're in an area that you want to work in, like just start like get like showing people the area and like and like plug into some of those keywords so like if you're in you know Vaughn or, or something right like there's probably like really awesome things that you love about living in Vaughn that only people that live in Vaughn would know and like that's not like I mean you could google that but like google loves video so if you make a video that's like a keyword like it, the video will come up like I know people like search for like that lavender field video like that's that ranks like um, on Google, right? Which is like really awesome. Cause I'm just one, like they're not paying for those ads like to show up or those videos. It's like or organic traffic that you're getting. So um, I would definitely start with YouTube. There's an incredible course that I took. Like um, that's how I learned even about like the keywords everywhere. Cause you can teach yourself this stuff, but like if you don't know where to go you don't know where to start. Um, and so Karen Carr, who's like incredible. I met her at a, a bomb bomb conference that I went to like back when we could travel in Denver. It was, <laughs> it was, it was really fun. I guess it's been a couple of years now, but um, she has an incredible course called YouTube for agents. And I would like signed up for that, like very early on as well. And that really helped with j it's super step-by-step -step, um, on, on how to like do, how to start a YouTube channel, like how to, use keywords everywhere um the 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 thing is like you just have to do it like yeah absolutely that's, that's the thing crazy. like there's nothing special really about me or like what i do it's just that like i did it <laughs> right You're consistent. And, and that's the yeah. thing like anybody can like <laughs> yeah it, well yeah and consistency is the thing that yeah is like it's a mantra for everything but for this especially like when from when you started did you start sort of trickling in like doing one and then it was a month or two and then another or were you hitting the gas from the first one that went out there and then setting up kind of an expected schedule for yourself of the content that you put out there so after i did the 30 the 30 and 30 i did uh i took like a bit of a break because that was that was like a that was hard and then I was trying to figure out like what am I going to do with this now like that I've done this right and like I have people that have like you know like looked at the videos every day that I posted them so I did a weekly schedule of like Thursdays so I was posting every week like a check it out Milton video on Thursday and then um like I was really really very consistent in in the very beginning and like for probably close to a year like I think I have over 200 videos on my YouTube channel right so like some of them are like listing videos too I haven't like and now like I get sort of 
I can get business from some of them. I haven't, it's been harder with COVID. I think like I, I, that kind of threw me off like a little bit of like yeah. what I was doing. I did them around Christmas time. I did some like business, um, small business features and we did some giveaways, which was really good. Um, mm -hmm. but yeah, like I think if you can get consistent with it, like posting to your YouTube channel once a week, um, that's all you really have to do. Like I thought at one point, I'm like, I'm going to do two. But even in some of the groups that I'm in, like different Facebook groups, it's not it's not necessary. Like if you do like one time a week, like consistently, you're good. So in the beginning, like I think you have to be really consistent, like so that people and and always right. I'm not as as I as consistent as I used to be, but it's always in my mind. I'm like, I got to make a video. Yeah. <laughs> That's how we are with the podcast. This I know. Yeah, it's it's like, like, oh, yeah, yeah, it's coming up tomorrow. Do that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, that's, that's, that's really good. And so now would you like how much, like what percentage roughly of your business do you think comes from the videos that you do? Um, so like this year, I think I like so far this year, I've had two, three, four, like, four deals that I would say like that I could uh, maybe somewhat attribute to the business. So like, um, I get referrals from agents. So in other um, pockets, because like the thing is, like, if you go into some of those Facebook groups, and someone's looking for a Milton agent, some agents know me just from the videos. And they're like, Oh, like Shalini's a Milton agent. So I've done like I did two for two agents in Ottawa um, this year that just because someone else has seen like, so it's an agent referral. But I also feel like that's because like they knew who I was like who I may not know who they are. Um, because like, I've done a good job of like, like branding myself as like a Milton, a Milton realtor, right. So I think like for folks like, that's why I'm like, I think niching is, is like, is a good, good thing. Like I, I won't go to Ajax or like, I'm not driving like all across the like the city, yeah. right? Like, I don't know that area. Like, I don't, I, I just feel someone's best suited, like, I'm better to refer to someone like that really like knows it out there. Um, mm -hmm. So I think the same thing is to spin for referral business, <clears throat> and then buyers that I work with as well. So um, buyer leads I get from Instagram and, um, and from YouTube. Okay. That's great. Nice. <laughs> there's, there's so I've got like endless questions. I don't know if there's more. Yeah, no, I think here. there was I, a couple. I, I always steal it. other people's spotlights while no, they're no, no, actually no, wanting to ask questions. Yeah, no, is is there more there? No, she answered them already. Like we didn't ask them directly, but over the course of the last little while, we okay. So, them. so let's go back to what we were talking about before with people who are nervous and people who might not want to see themselves or hear themselves. And we talked to people like that. We were those people. For them. Would you say that being out there and doing something without a plan and just being out there for the sake of being out there is a good way to start? Or should they take some time first, develop, you know, a, maybe a multi ep like sort of like, here's my goal and here's all the stuff I'm going to do. So I've got direction. Or is it just about jumping in and seeing what happens and then rolling with it or somewhere in the middle? <laughs> for these okay, people. so like I'm a high eye, so I'm like jump in, like just do it. <laughs> right? But like you are right, like not everyone is like that. But this is the beauty of video. This is what I was like saying in the beginning. Like it's like uh, it's attraction marketing. So if you just like are a calm, like you are a numbers person, do your thing. Like just be you and who you are, because there are people that want that right like they want to work with someone like you like you are unique in what you can offer um and your personality and and how you explain things to clients so i'm not for everyone and that's okay right like there's so much business out there that like it like i couldn't even possibly do, do it all right like so so whoever like you are like and you're if you're nervous about you know doing doing video like it, it's who you are and the, and you have like I'm sure worked with people right and like people want to work with you like you have something great to offer and it's better if someone you know you you can help someone that could be stuck with somebody they really shouldn't be working with right like you are the best person to help those people so I think just video is an amazing way like a free way like it's just like it's your time like to get in front of so many people and really just showcase what you know so I, I, like it's it's hard like I know people like everyone's got their own insecurities but then just think about that like everybody's got their own insecure everyone's running around with their own baggage right so yeah, I think just true. like somehow 
you have to get over yourself. And if you if you really just look at the camera and like think that you're speaking to like your favorite client ever and the things that you would say to your favorite client and how you would have a conversation with them, like like hopefully like that can help you focus on like what is your like on on getting through it. And and having a plan is great. Like if you could come up with like a content schedule for um like like you asked like ahead of time like and and you can do that by just researching like TubeBuddy is another one that I use um or keywords everywhere. Um, I think there's one like answer the public. I, I don't use that one as often, but like it, it'll also help you come up with content ideas, but just mm -hmm. look for what people are searching or think about the questions that you have that buyers or sellers ask you a lot um, and make a, and make a video about that because you know, you think like if something the things that I think we know as realtors, like we're just like, oh, like everybody knows that. But like people mm -hmm. don't know those things, right? I always get like kind of, when someone's like, well, do I have to put 20% down? And I'm like, I think really, like, doesn't everybody know that it's <laughs> like that you don't have <laughs> yeah. to do that, right? But like, awesome. th that's the kind of the thing, like even doing something like this, I'm like, oh, I'm, you know, maybe I'm not the one to like share the information because I'm not like, you know, like Chris Kwan or like these like really amazing, like real, like guys do this like super high production stuff but i know that i have something to offer for somebody who's like just starting and who's like scared to like get out and do it because like i was there too so everyone's on like a different step in their journey right like a level one to like a level 100 and so yeah. you know that's what's so great about our industry and especially what you guys do too is that you sort of open it up to like how so other people can help other people like and that's how we all get better like as an industry too so yeah. i think just do it <laughs> yeah, no, I love that. And you're and you're so right, because everybody puts their own spin on things. So how you're doing things is not necessarily how somebody else is going to do things. And but like, they can still take from what you're you're teaching them and from what you're what you've experienced, and put it into practice. So that's the beauty of it. And it's amazing what you've built. So it's, yeah, it's awesome. totally like you can like, we could all answer the same question. There's probably like a million videos about like, how much deposit do I have to put down? But the thing is, like, the people like that will find you for something else, like, and the people that are really looking for that information, like, they will like go down like the rabbit hole of all of the things like so you can make like a whole buyer series, like here are my top 10 buyer questions, and like answer one question. And then like, you know, uh, and then have it like your end card be like your next what your next question is and they could go through your whole series like you could make them for like i use bomb bomb like so um even like on drip campaigns and things like that like that's video but that's you educating people and helping them through a process and and that's you know like that's invaluable too yeah. yeah well and i think anybody if you go to anybody out there who's done video done anything like this find their first video yeah <laughs> you know we all started somewhere. I mean, like, look, even this one right now, like we'd like to think we know what we're doing here, but the first 10 minutes of this thing, we couldn't get the video working, right? And it's it's part of what, you know, makes all of us what we are. We're all human. We're all kind of, when we're most vulnerable is when we're most real anyway. Yeah. And yeah. so, um, I mean, I know we're now watching like a dog trainer on YouTube yeah. and one video that resonated with us and now we're like addicted to his series of like peeing in the house and not biting and this and that whatever just because like you said he's got a certain style others have different styles that are a little eh. yeah. and you find the people you're looking for and you get addicted yeah <laughs> to uh, it's, it. it's true oh there's the doorbell i told you that was yeah it it's true it's just that like, and that's what i'm saying like you can everyone could film the exact same thing but like it's just who's going to resonate with you and like that's the beautiful thing even about like our business is that we all are doing something very similar but like there's like your people like you're going to find your people like in in, in doing that and putting yourself out there, right? Yeah. Like it's yeah. it's like free to do, right? Like there's people spending like so much money on like, you know, ads and like you could just like make consistent content and like get in front of people. Like the, I, I'm in one of the Facebook groups I'm in like from that YouTube for agents, Karen Carr, like people are doing like, like big deals, like, right? Like out of just from people who like they've met through um, through their YouTube videos. Like it's 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 pretty awesome. Yeah. No, definitely. So um, somebody wanted to know, how do you get views up uh, for your listings and videos on your YouTube channel in the beginning? Now, I know you talked about keywords. Is there anything else that you'd recommend? Um, so like I will run 
for like if you're just like looking for exposure like you can run uh like a go like an ad like you can like um do like a like a google ad right so like you could just get like your youtube video in front of more people and like you can still you can set like some demographics for it like it's like you know facebook sort of cut down like how you can target people you can still target like um in like google ads so like i i do like run google ads for my listings i've run some like in some in the past on like a like a market update video i'll run um so like you can you can do things like you can do things like that if you were trying to get like more reach for a while like i had the youtube shorts so youtube shorts is like what they were just starting out they were sort of vertical video and they gave like i had it on my phone so i did a couple of those and i picked up a lot of subscribers like from that um but then they took it away so i'm like you're at the mercy of like what instagram gives you i'm like i just got oh, captions yeah. yay right like but then yeah. you're, like you just sort of, like so i know some people can't even do reels like they don't have music like all sorts of different things right Right. So yeah. um, that would be a way definitely like the keywords like are, are really important. But like if you want to just like get a little bit of extra exposure, even if you do like a dollar a day and like you have something like sort of running in the background, um, like maybe on your market update video. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. And then you yeah. could link that to like a uh, buying, like, you know, like, like my top tips for buying a home or something like that. Like there's all sorts of different things you could do. Yeah. So with that, like there's a lot of really good ideas of types of content people can have. It's not just market updates. It's not just just listed, just sold. And it shouldn't be. No. If you're getting started, would you suggest that someone opens up their channel with more than just one video at the beginning? Like, should they start off with three or four so that there's a bit of a library or selection that people can get a feel for them or just go at it with one and as you're ready, put more out there? I think I might I well I think I just started with one but like I didn't like I didn't know like in the beginning right like when I started that YouTube channel so I was just doing I just put up videos like like yeah if you go back to my first videos like yeah I think I have like a Mark Anthony picture in one of them I'm like, nice. like I need to know the closing costs like it was like something <laughs> really, like, I don't know what I was doing, <laughs> but, but uh, I I think uh, probably if you, if you have it, if even if you start with one, and then at the end of your video, you can just say, you know, next week we're going to be talking about like this because you've got it pre-planned, and so then you've got like somebody that could like you kind of can be like you know subscribe to this because like next week we're going to be talking about you know the my favorite park in Milton or something right like or like the best place to get pizza in Milton right Ooh, controversial right like like you could have like something like that that would maybe yeah. like get people to subscribe and then like coming back for more but you know probably a good idea to have a few in your pocket like so that way you're not like scrambling like last minute because like that's like we've all been there right I'm sure like yeah, yeah. you know <laughs> Well, that's the thing, and then it never comes out right, or if right. it feels rushed, or like you're not even talking about what you really want to be talking about because you haven't yeah. thought about it. Yeah. Um, so, what kind of like I know you've been taking a lot of courses over the years. Like, what are some of the, I guess, better ones that you've taken that you would recommend to people? Oh, so um, definitely. So the first course that I took, I've taken that course three times. It's a video boot camp, And if you're watching this today, and you did want to get started in video, it's like you're a lucky day because they're actually <laughs> like, <laughs> like they're running that course for free. Um, in the it's called the uh, re video studio. And like, maybe I'll like if you guys are I don't know if you're a part of that. Um, I think I am. Yeah. Yeah. So like yeah. I've paid right for that down. course three times. It's the one that I left after and I did the 30 and 30. It's Michael Thorne, who is like so incredible. Um, like he he's just an incredible person, like a realtor, like a, a like a guy in our industry, and he's so talented at video. And like that course is like to, to for them to offer for free is like incredible They're I think they're asking for a donation to like the miracle uh, like children's miracle network or something like that so um but it's it's happening today it starts today at 1 p.m like eastern um yeah. and then uh I think it's running over four days I would ha like if you can fit it in your schedule I think that they're going to leave the the um I think they might leave them in there highly 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 recommend that like it was what sort of started me like I think to go like even as far like to do all the different things that I've done was that course. They will show you how to edit. Like he shows you his strategy. Um, I don't know if they're doing that this time. Probably they are like his strategy on coming soons and like how they use that with bomb bomb and like um, different landing pages that they use. They, they talk to you just about the very basics of editing and like mm -hmm. how to edit because, you know, understanding even that like sound 
and video were separate things and like how to manipulate those like was, mm -hmm. you know, was new for me. Right. So I was like, oh, like, so they, they teach you all of those things. It's really, really good. And it's free right now, which is incredible because I've paid, I think it was, I don't know, it was like almost $500 or something. Like I paid three times for that course because it was so good. So I would highly wow. recommend that. That's awesome. everyone e transfer Shalini. Yeah, yeah, seriously, hundred bucks, fifty bucks ahead, just to screw her up. We'll all be even at the end. Yeah, no, right. make the donations to the children's. I think it's Children's yeah. Miracle Network. They have a link yeah. in the thing, but like they're doing, they're just good guys. Just uh, Michael Thorne and Jesse Peters, like just good guys. Oh, it's open to like all brands. Like everyone, everyone can go right. Like it's it's really good. Yeah. Um, that one because it's it's also free right now so it's like excellent timing that you had this like happening hopefully people yeah, will no go kidding. yeah so and then the video studio are you like, the, like the letter r -E. okay i'm yeah. just like people were asking for it so i'll just put it up yeah there. okay it's there in the comments yeah, put the link i think they, they start today at one um okay. and i hope that you love it like as and i hope that like it helps someone start on their journey like it helped me start on mine because it was it like it's really i'm so much thankful to them because like, it, like they helped my business, my family. Like if I had never done that, like if they, the, what they taught was so far reaching, like I have like big love for those guys. Right. So, <laughs> um, awesome. and the other one is if you're really like, if you're thinking about getting to YouTube and you don't know where to start, um, that is Karen Carr's YouTube for agents. And, um, I can send you like the link to that course. That is a really, really good, like step-by-step -step like how to do this like if you you know just want the information given to you and you don't want to like try and source it out all, all by yourself um she talks about like keywords everywhere she talks about TubeBuddy, um like editing as well like different editing platforms you might want to try um it's it's a really really good one too so those have been like i would say the two most impactful ones that i've um that i've taken that's awesome that's great advice I've got a technical question because I'm curious. Yeah. We, you talk, you mentioned subscribing, which is a big yeah. thing. Like, I don't know if that's the holy grail of videos is you want more people subscribing. But when you prompt people to subscribe, do you have a rule of thumb of how you do it? Do you always open your videos with the prompt to subscribe? Or is it more of a teaser at the end, like you were saying, that here's more content to expect, but you got to subscribe to get it? So you can put like an end card at the end, like where you have that, like sometimes I'll just have like the, it's the graphic that comes up and it'll just be like subscribe. Um, but you're, you're, you're supposed to lead with like, um, like a hook, right? Like, so right. your video should be like, I think I did like, what did I do one with, um, what's DJ Khaled or something like on even a market update video. Cause I'm just like, uh, or like Paris Hilton or something. I'm like, oh, I'm like Milton real estate in April, like it was one word for it or whatever. And then we have like Paris Hilton. She's like, it was hot or whatever. Right. Like that's hot. Like, and then like, and then like a little bit of a, an intro like real or like, you know, uh, what's it called? Um, oh my God, I'm losing my words. <laughs> Anyways, like a little bit of like a, like Milton market update. And then like my, and then I went into like the speaking thing. So you can do like, you should have like a hook in the beginning. Um, now they're saying like, look at everyone's got different opinions. They're like, don't even bother with these little like in commercial things like intros anymore. Like don't even bother with the intros, like just get right into the content. Cause you will lose people. So mm -hmm. I think you have to watch your metrics. So just be like, if you're mm -hmm. like, like, hey, subscribe to my channel, like the first thing, like it's not, you haven't given any value yet, right? Yeah. So I think like you can do the hook, like I still have the little intro. I may I may try and do one without it and see if like my watch, like my view time goes up. But like YouTube gives you everything, like all the analytics are there. Like you can see where people drop off. And if you see they're dropping off at a certain place, maybe you want to put like just before that, like a card, it's called like a card that goes at the top. You've been watching a video and then you see something that comes across the top and they're like, Hey, you might like, or you might want to know about this. So say you're talking about, Oh, the Milton farmer's market. And you're like, oh, and you can get like all of this like fresh produce here. And then maybe you want to go to like and then have like something else up at the top, like some restaurant, like downtown or a place to get your coffee on the day you go to the Milton Farmer's Market, something like that. Um, just to try and keep people on YouTube because YouTube rewards you like for that. Right. So cards. Oh, don't worry. This is the reality of COVID right now. That yeah, I know. It's, My kids it's are lunchtime at virtual school and uh, everybody has stormed the gates.
Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how much that sound is coming through, but uh, here's a prompt. Our, our podcast this week is on is on mommy and daddy guilt. So listen okay. for that because that's. <laughs> um, I understand but anyway, that. No, it's all good. Um, so no, that's sorry that it naturally distracts the hell out of us. <laughs> when that happens every time. Uh, there we go. You're back. Yep. And we've muzzled all I don't of them know how you them do it. and locked them in a closet. <laughs> oh, okay. The puppy thing didn't work. Hey, let's throw a puppy at them and no one will make yeah. any sound. <laughs> that, that yeah, you work. guys are incredible. I love watching your family and all of the um, things that you do. I have like teenagers, yeah. so I'm just like, don't come down. And they're like, we weren't going to anyways. Yeah, so exactly. <laughs> when, when that day comes here, we yeah. say, don't come down. They're like, down, come down. Yeah. Cool. yeah. <laughs> now? Sorry, I'm late. Uh, oh, man. Anyway, but that's all good. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, I mean, that, that completely killed my entire train of thought here. I apologize. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to throw it out though to everybody who's watching to see if there's any more specific questions people have. Yeah. Before we, before in an hour, they join a whole new four day boot camp session. That's, that's right. Free. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm totally I'm do it. That. The free is such, I mean, not just the boot camp, but I mean, you've mentioned it a few times and it's so important to people like our agents. Everybody always asks like, what's the best place to spend my money? Like, where can I put my money? Where's my money going to get me more leads? Get me more that this is a way to just put yourself out there, spend your time and let people see who you are and yeah. just have fun with it. Like, yes. We're so raw and not professional with everything we do. And that's fine. Like, it's just kind of, that's, well, clearly that's, I mean, that's part of the fun though. Yeah. And if people aren't going to see that, like what's going to happen when you meet your clients for the first time and yeah, like, yeah. you've got to put on this mask of you whatever you open the lock box because you know, you have the wrong code or, you know, that was one of the, that was one <laughs> yeah. of the first videos we ever did was taking a sledgehammer to a lock box. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cause we couldn't get the damn thing open. Yeah. But that it's, was fun. It's real life though. Right. Like that, yeah. you're, you're so right. Like that's what it is. Like that's who you are. And like, and like, I'm not a suit person. Right. Like, so I don't show up like in a suit on my videos and then like, you know, so people sort of like know who you are before they meet you. And and even actually, I did a deal last, uh, it, it's not even just like even with other agents, it's forming relationships with other, um, sorry, with, with clients, it's forming agents relationships with other agents, because the deal I did last week was from um, an agent who sent me her offer. And she was like, Oh, like, I like, I watch all of your videos. Like, I, you know, I knew the house was gonna look great, like this and that. And I was like, Oh, my gosh, like amazing, because like, they already kind of feel like they know you because they've watched you on video. And you don't you don't totally. know who they are. But like, that's like the power of just like video, and like forming relationships and like people you know, people are interested like in, in things like that. And, and it's great in our industry to be able to have that. And like for referrals, um, like just even like when you're negotiating with people, like it's, it's really, it's really nice. So there's so yeah. many ways video can like impact your business. Um, yeah. so you should just do it. <laughs> no, absolutely. And you're, and you're right. It's not about the leads. It's about the connections you're making with the industry and that like we know, I mean, I'm sure we both know so many people that have built an incredible business strictly off referrals from other yeah. agents and other mm -hmm. areas. So there's so much there. Um, and, and it's, yeah, it's great to watch you and see how you've grown. Um, congratulations on Thank all you. of the success you've had. And like, you got like the, it was, a, I can't, uh, it was a bomb bomb uh influencer i'm trying to remember what it was but with yeah. tom ferry that's that's such an that's so exciting to hear yeah that's awesome. i was i was really like i was really i was like it was top 10 for a community video and i was 10 but like okay. i was 10. like i just say like that's platinum. And that's like, is that North North America or what is that? Yeah, within? North America. Amazing. Yeah, North yeah. America. Yeah. And that and like it was I was really uh like it full, blown away. <laughs> but it, yeah. uh, but it was it, like very exciting, right? So like I think that just I mean it's nice because you know what? Like you don't like not all my videos have like, you know, like thousands of views on them, right? Like it's not like that, but it's just the thing is like there's people that are watching you and like you don't even know it, right? Yeah. Like, and like the people that you're impacting and, and 
and you don't even know it like half like a lot of the views you can see like are these people from who are subscribed or like not subscribed so like i know like there's people that go in that like aren't subscribed but they're still watching um watching your stuff right like and, and it's helping them or impacting them in some way so um yeah. yeah i was i was really stoked about that like it was it was it was very exciting yeah no that's awesome it's so good yeah and like and it speaks to also people everybody's always looking what everyone else is doing and worried about what everyone else is doing. And I need to be like her. Or I need to be like him. And yeah. I mean, we've been like that for sure. I mean, I think when everybody starts, you look to people for inspiration, but yeah. you found your groove and you're being recognized rightfully so for it. And I mean, the nice thing about video too, is as you grow as a person, like your videos are going to evolve also. Like it's not yeah. always going to be like this prepackaged thing and, Oh, that's, that's another video from her. I don't need to watch that. Like it's always creative Fresh stuff. Content, yeah. And so people don't need to think about what everyone else is doing because everybody's got their own thing and it's going to change every day and every week. So does the world. So does the market and all that. The content yeah. is everywhere. So it is. It's, it is everywhere. And like, you start to look at things differently too, just like, because when you know, like you're, you're, you know, you're doing a video, like, just like, you know, like, nice things that you see around or like whatever you're going to like make your channel about right like if it's like you said before like it doesn't all, it's not all like market update videos and like listing videos like you want to like have other pieces on there like because that, that's evergreen content that like lives on there like our listings like are listed and sold right but like you can have searchable like pieces that are on there that people will still find you for because they're searching like for those items right and then like and then it goes it goes on and on and on like that but thanks again we appreciate it thank, thank you right. so much thanks bye, bye.